Hi beautiful souls. Today I'm sharing a little light on water. Yesterday I was swimming and I met with a being in the water that I had met years before and not the usual type of mer being that you may have seen in pictures, folklores, but this being was quite different looking, but nevertheless a mer being. And I first met this being years ago. Um, I saw I saw them in the water and I drew a picture because my friend about a week later had also seen the same being. And she goes, I don't know what it was. And I said, draw what you saw. I will draw what I saw and we will, you know, have a look. We drew, both drew exactly the same being. Now, at the moment, everything is becoming clearer. The realms are becoming clearer so that we can see through them, to see through to other beings. And so if you're not already developed in your psychic abilities, your your higher gifts, then sometimes you may see things and be a little bit shocked. But you don't want to be shocked because the thing is, is that you need to hold your own and hold your space and be calm and clear about your exchanges with all beings at all times. Because if you panic and if you close off to the wonderment, then you're going to constantly be keeping yourself in a space that is not in expansion. So when you meet these beings, you don't have to have anybody, anything in your space if you don't wish it. You can say, please, I'm not interested in conversation. Please let me be. You don't have, but don't freak out. Don't run and don't be afraid because fear is something that keeps the divine human stuck and fear doesn't help anything or anyone. From my understanding of this mer being yesterday was that they were so grateful, so grateful that times are changing, that there is this shift occurring because it gives them an opportunity to also shift. Because if you imagine this, every time you're in the sea and you're in a body of water and the humanity and their thoughts have become so electrical that they are creating this disharmonic uh, frequency on the earth and that stirs up the elementals, it stirs up the elements and then they get whipped into a frenzy. Whereas if humans are keeping themselves in calm, relaxed, fearlessness, gentleness, then the elements have an opportunity to, to be. And as they have an opportunity to be, they also have opportunities from the field of potential that maybe weren't necessarily always there to them before. You see, everything is ascending, everything is expanding. I look at the beach stones and they're full of crystals. I look at the sea and the water is different. You see the, you see the radiance, you see the rainbows, you see the glistening all around the water. The waters just are of a higher frequency these days. And when you speak to it, it really talks back to you. When you look at the sun, how the sun has ascended. The planet, of course, has ascended. The trees are ascending. Everything, everything is expanding. And that includes the elementals. They too are expanding. And all you have to do is when you come into contact with them is to send them love, to bless them, to see them. Send them love. And that's all you have to do. So I was talking about water today. And water is vitally important for all life, especially given the fact that we are made up mostly of water. 
So when you're blessing the water, you're blessing yourself and you're blessing everything that's here. Everything needs water, we are the water. And I especially want to talk about the sea because I have a great relationship with the sea. My dear friend, the sea, uh, Big Salty. Big Salty, I mean, the other week I was in the hospital quite a bit and I was on quite a few drips. And if you notice, they give you a drip, it's always saline, it's never just water, it's saline, it's salt water. And so we are of the sea, without the sea, we are not, we're not functioning. And what I want to share today is that you may not be near the sea, but you may be near some body of water. And when you bless that body of water, it connects to the whole, connects to all that is of the body of water. Because water is not separate either. You cannot separate water just as much as you cannot separate each being here on this earth because we are one. So when you bless a drop of water, you're blessing the ocean, you're bless blessing the lakes, you're blessing the rivers, you're blessing, you're blessing all, you're blessing all. And as you bless the water, you're blessing the beings that live in the water. You're blessing the depths of the water. You're blessing the drink that you're drinking as water. Water has so much more coming on. So much more expansion happening within the water. The water tells me that it bends and shapes itself. We all know this from looking at rock formations, but the water is changing to a point where we will be able to construct with the water and then release the water to be back as a body of water so that we do not need to waste um, materials to create things. The water will assist and this is what the water is telling me. This is one of the creations that I see that the water is asking us to, uh, to retrieve from our pool of wisdom. The pool of wisdom. Water. We are able to create so bountifully and magnificently. And we have been creating on a very small, slim level because we haven't had the ability until now to really access or to remember to remember the divinity of that that which we are to pull forth great wonders the wonders the ancient wonders and the futuristic wonders of the way that beings human beings divine humans may live here on this earth plane we will develop ways of breathing underwater. We, the, the mer person that I saw, I believe was an elemental, but in time we will be able to have the ability to, to slip through the water as a higher dimensional being. And I say a higher dimensional being because from my understanding, from what I believe, and I don't believe it's a limiting belief, but from what I've met of the elemental folk, whether they be water elemental folk or hedgerow elemental folk, is that they rely very much on humanity ascending in order for them to also uh, feel more expansion because they're so heavily influenced by human emotions. And, um, and I think that if they weren't so heavily influenced by human emotions, then they wouldn't be held back. And this is why when we come into the water and bless the water, when we're blessing ourselves and blessing others and blessing all that is, we help all beings. And the water is a key. The water is a huge key for ascension. So that's my short share for today, which turned out not to be so short. <laughs> I send you all lots of love, blessings and abundance. My name is Zaza. If you like this video, please share, subscribe comment if you feel called to do so.
bless the water. <laughs>